Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis. And if you are watching this video, it's because you're interested in some way, shape, or form about relaxers. I'm here for you. I have some tips, some frequently asked questions. I'm gonna talk about breakage, all types of things. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. I just recently did a full video on my relaxer routine. So if you're interested in seeing me actually do my hair, check the description bar down below. I'll have that video linked for you. Frequently asked questions. I feel like the question I get asked the most about my hair being relaxed is how often do I relax? I relax my hair one to two times every six to seven months. Typically relax my hair around this time of year and I wear it out and straight and relax into the cooler months because that's when it's easiest for me to maintain it. Around January, February, I might get the itch to put some braids or twists in my hair, especially if I'm going somewhere for my birthday. My birthday is in January. February into March, early April, I'm wearing my hair out relaxed and I'll do a touch up around that time come late april early may my hair has gone back into braids or twists or some sort of protective style whatever i'm feeling that year how often do i wash my relaxed hair i wash my hair once a week some people might say that's too much that's around the time my hair gets oily it gets a little greasy I'm not a ponytail girl. Around a week or so is like as long as I can stretch it. How often do I apply heat? Once a week. The time when I'm washing my hair. Two other questions that I get asked a lot is how do I sleep with my hair specifically for this style and how do I maintain it between washes? So my key to maintaining this style is pin curling my hair at night. Pin curls are just the way to go. Those are my frequently asked questions. If there's another question that you have, feel free to leave a comment below. I answer all of you guys' questions because I know you're not asking it for no reason and who am I not to answer? I'm nobody. All right, so the next portion of this video, I'm gonna talk about products. I personally think that you cannot use the same products and the same amount of products that you've been using as a natural or while you've been growing out your hair going into relaxed hair. You need to use products that are one, not as heavy, and two, less of it. A lot of people will ask me what shampoo and conditioner I use. I really don't feel like it matters that much what shampoo and conditioner you use. As long as it gets your hair clean and it, when you condition it, your hair feels better than when you left it. So one product that's really important in my routine is Jamaican black castor oil. I'll have this linked down below. All the products I mentioned here will be linked down below if you're interested. Um, I saturate my scalp and the ends of my hair in this the night before I wash my hair. My hair responds really, really well to Jamaican black castor oil and it grows a lot when I use it regularly. A leave-in conditioner that I really like to use is by TPH by Taraji. She has a, let me tell you, TPH by Taraji has a great line. This is the ride or die detangling leave-in conditioner. So nice. It comes out as a spray, which I think is helpful already to like limit how much you'll put out. I use about three to four spritzes of this in the palm of my hand, rub it through, and I apply it to the ends of my hair. And all the TPH products smell chef's kiss. Divine. Like they smell so good. Verb Ghost Oil, and it, it looks like this. It's a little guy. Don't be fooled because you don't need a lot of this. More cost effective one, which I think is great because it's really accessible to most people. But another one that I think is really good, but it's a little pricey, is the Chi Silk Infusion. A lot of people I feel like think is like more so geared towards like white girls or like just people with like straighter hair textures is dry shampoo. And technically it is. Um, This is the Heritage by Mindy Soak It Up Dry Conditioner. It's called a dry conditioner, but it is low key a dry shampoo. It's a dry shampoo, it does the same thing. This is my favorite dry shampoo, one, because it's so light. Dry shampoos, you can get kind of carried away with them, let me just say that. There's still a product at the end of the day that you're spraying in your hair. You spray too much and it's gonna start to feel like kind of gritty, like sandy a little bit. All right, so I told you guys about the Verb Ghost Oil. This is a Verb Ghost Dry Oil. This is really nice as like a finishing spray. The My favorite thing though about these, you see I'm just spraying this all over my head. They are weightless. The Verb Ghost Oil line is weightless. If there are two products that I say from this video that you have to get, it's these two because they are Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Super Clean Spray. It's a hairspray. Now look, 
I know you like forget everything that you've learned about hairspray, how it's not for us. Cause this is the most touchable soft hairspray I've ever used in my life, but it still holds my hair in place. It's really good for humidity too. Now, what I'm not gonna do is lie to you. It's not like, oh, it's like your hair is never gonna get like frizzier. It's not that. If it's super humid and hot, muggy outside, your hair gonna do what it's do. So, breakage. That's the number one thing people talk about when they're talking about relaxers. Your hair gonna, you relax your hair, your hair gonna break off and fall off and it's just gonna be fried and done and oop the oop the oop oop oop. I have a few things that I do to keep breakage at bay. One of them being the soaking my hair in oil, okay? So look, you want your hair to stay in your head, you need to moisturize it. It needs to have some strength to it, you know? some strength. I told y'all how I'm not really a ponytail girl. One, just cause I don't like the style, but two, pulling your hair up in a ponytail, that is gonna be a stress point. That's going to break your hair off. Girl, don't forget about rubber bands. Like rubber bands, a whole nother story. If you tie in your hair with rubber bands, girl, you just don't want any hair. Forget the elastics altogether. Some sort of silky scrunchie if you gotta tie your hair up, okay? Every single night, you need to be wrapping your hair. Something needs to be on your head. Now I know, what about the silk pillowcases? That's cute. Aesthetically, they're really cute. They're a vibe. They're a cute just in case, like insurance. Like in, if you a wild sleeper and your scarf never stays on, if you want that hair to stay on your head, stop breaking off, you need to wrap it up. Okay, just like they say in sex ed, wrap it up. Stretching your relaxers as long as you possibly can. Okay, I relax my hair in September. The next time I'ma think about putting a relaxer in my hair is the next calendar year. And that's why I tend to like only wear my hair out and relax during the fall and winter months because I can get away with stretching them that far in the fall and winter months. And the last tip I'm gonna give you about breakage is getting your ends clipped. It's not a haircut, sis. It's not a haircut. And if it is a haircut, please believe, I feel like your stylist probably knows way better than you. Trim your ends regularly. Like I would say maybe once every six weeks or so, you should be trimming your ends, getting your ends clipped. Some relaxer do's and don'ts that I have learned over the years that I think will be really helpful for people that are new to relaxing. Don't mind me just touching up my makeup. Now my number one tip, because I see it's a lot of girlies out here that either have never had a relaxer or you went natural and you've been natural for like a couple years and y'all wanting to come over to the dark side. And you know, I'm not gonna forget cause y'all was throwing rocks in us. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Y'all was dogging us for having to relax her. And I was over here standing 10 toes down. I'm gonna be relaxed if I wanna be. Nobody wants your first time back relaxing or your first time relaxing, go see a professional. Please do that. I've heard and seen so many horror stories of people relaxing their hair the hair falling out. If your hair is already broken off, dry, brittle, all of that without a relaxer, I would highly recommend you don't relax your hair. Somebody I know told me this a really long time ago, relaxer and water don't mix. So like anytime you have like a, if you're using a comb, I know some people just use a comb to slap that relaxer on. I ain't, I ain't that skilled, I, I have to use a little brush. But if you're using like a comb or a brush or whatever and it's water on it, dry it off. Just try. I don't know why, but just do it. Using a little kit relaxer and you don't use all of it, throw it away. You cannot save that. You cannot save it. Look, everybody knows when you're doing your relaxer by yourself at home, the one thing that you're worried about is getting all that relaxer out your head. <laughs> My rule of thumb is if you're still in doubt, keep washing. The other thing I just have to mention because it's such a big thing with relaxed hair is under process hair. I feel like when you're doing your relaxer at home yourself, it's inevitable you're going to under process your hair at some point. There's no way to get around it. Is it a pain to deal with sometimes? Yeah, it's not the end of the world is what I will say. Some people talk about under processed hair as if like you gotta cut all your hair off and start from scratch again. That ain't, that ain't true, that ain't true. Now, leave comments. If you wanna see me really like fix my under processed hair that's in my head, let me know. I hope that this video gave you everything you ever wanted, needed, 
to know about relaxers. Again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below because I will answer all of them. Who am I not to answer? I'm nobody, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.